Hey, what's up, guys? It's the Avocado here. Time for another video. Uh, today, I will be doing my uh, thoughts on Call of Duty World War II, which will be coming out uh, October, November, August. I don't even know anymore. I'm just. I have mixed feelings about this game right now. Um, today, we are using the Volk option uh, just because 20% XP bonus is insane. Um, and I need that XP since I have to level up, as most of you probably know. Um, I'm sort of a uh, pub player. Um, but yeah, so Call of Duty World War II uh, coming in 2017 for anyone who doesn't know. Um, it will obviously be boots on the ground since it's uh, World War II based, um, and uh, pretty sure you can't die back there. And uh, <clears throat> pretty much, um, if you guys didn't see yet, there was a uh, campaign trailer released. Um, you will, if not, if you haven't seen it, make sure you go to uh, Call of Duty's YouTube channel, um, and you can check it out there. Um, the multiplayer trailer will be released in, uh, at E3. I don't know when, <clears throat> when exactly E3 is, but, <clears throat> but, uh, it will be announced then. So if you ever hear anything about E3 being soon, get ready to, uh, hear about the multiplayer. Um, but yeah, so. Like I said earlier, it's going to be boots on the ground, obviously, because it's in World War II. And for me, uh, I know a lot of people are excited about this, but for me personally, this can be a very good and also a very bad thing. Um, I've been playing this game ever since MW3. Uh, that was my first Call of Duty. Then I played Black Ops 2. Then I played Ghost. Then Advanced Warfare. And... I've played every Call of Duty since Ghosts or Black Ops 2. I don't even know the order of these games. Um, but yeah, so I've had experience of on Boots on the Ground. I don't play MWR, um, as many people probably know already. Uh, I just don't enjoy playing it. Uh, I'm not really sure why. Um, my best guess is that I'm, it's because I'm not used to boots on the ground. I've been playing this advanced movement for years, uh, since I was new to Call of Duty when it was boots on the ground, I never learned how to drop shot, uh, so that's gonna be, so that was one thing, I kept on getting drop shotted and I couldn't do it back, so it was kind of frustrating for me, um, plus with this game, since I have my scuff, uh, it's extremely easy just to simply jump over someone's head and get an easy kill on someone who is not expecting it. Uh, who's most likely a uh, casual player because he, um, the person isn't too skilled, doesn't have a scuff to uh, jump back after me with. Um, and that's one thing about advanced movement that people don't like if they don't have a scuff then most likely the people with scuffs will uh, beat them out every single time. And uh, it's not exactly a bad thing. Scuffs make it easier to drop shot to. Um, so I definitely recommend one. Um, but yeah, so, uh, crap, I completely forgot what I was gonna say. But, um, it will be a bad thing for me because I haven't played Boots on the Ground in, I don't even know, probably probably since Black Ops 2 I haven't played it. Um, I do play on Xbox One, so I do have that game backwards compatible, but I haven't really played it too much just because I've been sitting here grinding this game out. Um, and I did play it. When I did play Black Ops 2, it was really, really hard to get used to because, once again, people were drop shotting. I didn't really know how to do that, uh, even though I, for me, I just have to hit a paddle. Uh, it was still a bit weird, I guess you could say, to try and drop shot instead of jumping 10 feet above the enemy. Uh, you kind of have to 
drop 10 feet behind the enemy and uh, lay down and hope you get the kill with your aim uh, which is one thing that I have struggled with if you try to drop shot uh, my aim kind of messes up and I end up missing shots and that's just something that I'll have to work on in the future but since this game is going back to boots on the ground uh, it's gonna be a struggle to try and get used to boots on the ground again since I haven't played in a while uh, it's gonna be weird not really being able to jump over people uh, so it's gonna be a big adjustment for me and that's why I'm kinda nervous about it I guess you could say uh, it's been advanced movement for three years now and for me at least because uh, I haven't I don't play MWR but uh, it's gonna be a big adjustment going from jumping over people's heads to trying to lay down and to kill them um, it's gonna be really weird and it will probably be hard for me to get used to it uh, but in spite of that um, I will be playing the game a lot so hopefully it will um, come naturally kind of just because it's going to be annoying to go from this game where I'm really good dropping 30 already and uh, 40 last game and then going and playing a boots on the ground Call of Duty and not being as good so it's going to be kind of frustrating to start out at first and I'm really curious uh, what they're going to do with the game because with this game at least I really like the uh, aspect of mission teams uh, I thought that was something really cool. Uh, Infinite Warfare definitely has a lot of really good things to it, but also even more negative things about it. And I think that's why people don't like it. Um, also because it's advanced movement and variance and stuff, people don't like that. But, I mean, the variance that I get annoyed by, people only use epics, which I don't blame them. It's what makes them better at the game. Uh, s the synaptic bot's still messed up. I don't know why they can't fix that. Uh, just make its hitbox radio, uh, hit hitbox bigger. Um, but there's definitely a lot of things wrong with this game, and I don't blame blame people for not liking it because it is a game that uh, many people don't like. Oh, I was just about to get a warning too, and now the game's gonna end. Oh, let me focus up. But, yeah, those are my thoughts on uh, Call of Duty. Just dropped 40. Oh, well. Um, let, me guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, just going to be hard adjustment in my eyes. And thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you.